the sun is coming out. My, my. We haven't seen much of the sun the last week. Glorious. It is beautiful, absolutely glorious out there today. But as you can see, the other end of the lock is absolutely pissing it down. But hey, yeah, this end of the lock, we're fine at the moment. But down there, past the end of the uh, slipway, the other end of the lock, there's a right hole rainstorm going on. Just shows you how this weather changes in Scotland, especially in Sky as well, in the Highlands. One minute you can be in blazing sunshine, Next minute you're in a hoolie. You're in a Scottish hoolie with a mist smashing in your face and the Scottish winds. It's marvellous how windy it gets of a night time. In the day it's not too bad. It's a little bit of a breeze today. But every night, around about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, the bloody wind's coming. Sun or uh, get that solar's working, get that power pumping back into my system. Lovely job, Lee. Go. Oh, I might have some bacon and egg sandwiches this morning, and go for a nice walk this afternoon with Sky. Do you want to do that, Sky? Go for a walk this afternoon. So looking at money. You go for a walk this afternoon, eh? <laughs> You're half asleep, you dopey little mare. Look at her, she can't hardly be bothered to scratch her head. <laughs> She's a lovely girl. In my bed again, that's nice. Nice. Bye, guys.
sunshine. The sun's got his hat on at last. How glorious it is, so beautiful the sun's out. Uh, we're just going for a little walk now. We've got a couple of vans here. Uh, Carl and Helen are just getting ready, we're going for a little walk. It's a lovely Roman environment. The famous Aldis. Looks nice though, nice motor, nice looking motor, even though they're put together shoddily by uh, Aldis, but uh, hey ho. Oh, it is glorious, the wind's playing though, it's a bit chilly, but uh, that's a castle we're going to there. Helen waving to us. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> She's waving a white flag. As usual, we had a lovely uh, three days uh, with uh, Team Brummie. Uh, lovely Helen and Carl, lovely to meet you, and Nookie too. Uh, they'll be back again, so look out for my adventures on Sky because they're coming back. And we're going to have a few more days together. Also, we met Yvonne and uh, Kev from uh, Let's Go Somewhere. Delight to meet those two as well. You all take travel safe and we'll see you soon. Come here, come and say hello. Come and say hello. Hello, here she is. Here she is, Sky. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we've just said goodbye to uh, Carl and Ellen. They've gone over the mainland. They've gone. Uh, uh, they've gone east uh, for a couple of weeks, uh, but they'll be back on Sky in a couple of weeks' time. We'll have another meet up. Uh, that'd be nice. So uh, I'm all on my own again, <laughs> uh, which is always bloody sad. You know, especially in my situation. It's lovely to have company. It really is. But uh, you know, I'm doing this to be out in the wilderness kind of thing but uh, it is lovely to have company especially Carl and Ellen we love them to bits don't we and Nookie Monster so we're gonna get some victuals go and get some supplies uh, stock up all my tanks I'm gonna stop my water tank up at the arbor here we're gonna go down the garage down the road we're gonna fill up with diesel in the engine also diesel on my eaters and also my spare tank of diesel uh, get all that sorted and uh, I'm coming back here uh, till all this weather settles down uh, a little bit and then I may move on tomorrow, I'm not sure, because it's nice and empty now, the pier is empty again. I've got the pier back to myself uh, again, uh, which is lovely, it was nice and quiet with uh, Carl as well, Ellen this morning. Right, and the sun's coming out. Anyway, let's crack on, let's go and get some supplies. Later guys. Oh, Sky has decided to come in the front. You doing Sky? Sky, come here, come here, come here, come and say hello, <laughs> come and say hello, here we go, here we go. Come here, come here and say hello to Debbie. Come and say hello to look all these lovely people watching you. They're all watching you now, they're not watching Christine or me. They've come to watch you, they really have. Lovely girl, she's settled in so nicely. What's going outside? Right, we've just uh, had another little meet. Uh, lovely, uh, Wizarding the Wild came to see me, which was absolutely lovely. It's a smart looking van. It's <laughs> going, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh look at those two cuties. What are their names? <laughs> cuties. Maya and Luna. Maya and Luna. It's all right. <laughs> all right. It's all right. All right. All right. Oh dear. Oh, Stephen wanted That's to have nice, a look. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, if I put this... You go and have a look. I know I'm old Sky. Hold on, Sky. I'm all scared to walk in <laughs> with my boots. No, 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 no. Hello, guys. Hello. All right. All right. Wow. That is lovely. Cozy. It's Merlin, Wizard in the Wild. Lovely. She bought me a present as well and some mince pies. Lovely. And that's oh, a lovely van, a lovely smell of a brand new van. All right, guys. All right. Hello, 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 hello. Ah. <laughs> oh, Cracking. That's smashing, that is. <laughs> lovely, lovely van. <laughs> How long have you had it now, Ellie? We've had it. How long have we had Merlin Grey? Since March. March, yeah. March, yeah. Yeah. We're still doing stuff to make him ours. We yeah, yeah. Done. I want to make curtains yeah. and things. Got an awning as well, yeah? It's got an awning, yeah. Yeah, we love it. I, would, I wouldn't want to live full time in it. Yeah, yeah. A, bit, a bit too small for that, but... Yeah. I think it'd be alright for one person on their own, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think, I think yeah. so, but it's got... Those two cuties. <laughs> <laughs> she's calmed down now. Oh, he's in the mail. Oh, she's, 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 they're both she, little girls. Oh, they're both girls. They're oh, sisters. Alright. Oh, they were, yeah, litter she's mates. Like yeah, a, yeah, they're both... 
Yeah, Luna. It's all right, Luna. So that's <laughs> Luna and that's Maya. Here, Maya. Luna. Hello. What are you shaking? <laughs> you excited? Oh, Sky. All right, Sky. We're not left to you alone. Oh, I've got her on lead. Look, bless her. <laughs> It was lovely to meet Ellie and Graham from uh, Wizard in the Wild um, and she brought me a massive box of mince pies. I do like mince pies. Uh, so those will keep me going through the winter months. Thanks Ellie, that's really sweet. Almost brought me to tears and a lovely little present. Um, Ellie had made me a butterfly. Uh, you know what butterflies mean to me guys. With Christine. She made a handmade butterfly inside a, a presentation box. And it's beautiful. It'll certainly take pride of place in Christine, Ellie. That was really sweet of you and Graham. So it's lovely to meet you. Um, uh, I'm doing a voiceover because the winds are way too high. And uh, hopefully we'll meet these guys again. Go and check out Wizard in the Wild, guys. Check their YouTube channel. Give them us a bit of support. Tell them that I sent you. Lovely. Lovely to meet you, Ellie and Graham. I'm a really lucky boy. Someone else came across to see me, another one of my viewers. Now, these are Van Life as well. They're not on YouTube, they're on Insta. Aromi uh, Van Life, R O M E Y Van Life. A lovely couple, Jay and Raish. Uh, I was delighted to meet these two. They're both four timers as well. Uh, he's three quarter finished his van. It's looking sweet. Uh, we sat, we had a chat, we put the world to right and everything. Uh, had a lovely chat on the pier. Uh, but sadly, about four hours after leaving me, they gave me a message. Uh, they was on the mainland Scotland and some idiot had run them off the road. Look at the state of the van. Complete rise off. What a bloody shame. What an absolute shame. But thank God there was no injuries. There was both buckled up. No injuries, but it must have been a shock. Must have been a shock to you, Rosh and Jay. But uh, they've already sorted out V2. It's going to roll again, version 2. They're getting the van sorted. They'll soon be back on the road again. Let's hook up again, Jay, Rosh. Let's have a beer. Let's celebrate you getting through this trauma. Another trauma in our lives. Bless you both. Till later, guys. Travel safe. Right, we're on the move again. The sun's come out. Believe it or not. Yeah, you can walk along that path there, apparently. All the way to Sky Bridge, where those guys are walking. Why this tide is low. That makes a little lovely walk up there. I may go walk up there later. Somebody's left a little barbecue set there. Get some uh, get some burgers on there. Wonder if they mind. Carl and Ellen actually found some cannabis plants growing. Those are not cannabis, are they? <laughs> uh, in one of the pots on the village green. Oh yeah, what goes on in little sleepy Scottish towns, eh? Cola cane, cocaine, they're all on, <laughs> they're all on drugs. <laughs> Amazing. Kiss garden here, guys. Lots of lovely, uh, it's a guest house, I think. That is nice, isn't it? Lovely flowers, lots of animals and ornaments in there. All sorts. That's cool, isn't it? That's pretty. Everywhere. All these sheep, the rams, the pigs. Oh, there's lots of dogs here. Look at all the dogs. Lovely jubbly. A little waterfall and a lion. We've got foxes at the back there. We've got all sorts of guys. What can you see? What animals can you see? Put it down below what animals you can see. Crack on. Oh, it's just a uh, sky walking up the hill. We've got that big hill there. These lovely wildflowers here. These are all wildflowers here. How beautiful are those? How many varieties of wildflowers we've got there? You can see daisies, poppies. What can you see? there tells you you're on the right route for the castle castle mile and we're going to go through here all these beautiful 
rowan berries, that was beautiful colours. The bramble. Lovely job there, beautiful is that. All the wet berries looking lovely in this dapple sunlight. How stunning. We'll take some screenshots of that. Climb up the hill. All this lovely uh, bramble. We've got the Scottish heather everywhere as well, which is lovely. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And could, oh, look at that for a shot. There's a castle through the through the bracken, through the Scottish bracken and heather. With the row in as well. That is, that is a perfect Scottish scene. We took some photos on the way back. Go on, go on, go on. Go, 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 go. Coming to the brow of another hill. We're coming to the bay now. The bay that we have to uh, wait to low tow so we can get across. We turn the corner. Wow, we've got a shipwreck. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? Whoa. Blimey. Oh, bleeding Riley. Look at that. Is that not stunning? There's Castle Mile in all its majesty. Stood on a plinth there. They knew where to build castles, these Vikings and Scottish glens, clans. They knew how to do it. That is amazing, even though it's just a few bricks now to what it was, to splendour glory. Back in the uh, 1200s, I reckon, when that was it at its peak. Let's go. We've got mountain streams running through everywhere, which is lovely. Running off the uh, Scottish Glens. We've got this shipwreck down here. And we've got a couple of shipwrecks down here. Well, not so much wrecks, I think they've just been abandoned. What a beautiful bay. Would be nice now to see an otter. Or a dolphin stick his head out running through the straits. I saw one the other day, but I haven't seen one since. Go Sky, go Sky. And there it is, in all its splendour. I think she's called Joanne. She's just lay there on her side for the rest of her life. I wonder what adventures she's been through, what crews, what seas she's crossed, what oceans she's crossed, what locks she's gone through in her lifetime. Or is it 60 years old maybe, 50 years old? I don't know. But uh, she's had a day. Another boat just down there. It's a little cruiser there, look at that one. Oh, that one's a bit spooky. That one goes completely underwater when the tide's in. And there's the magnificent. Peat bog. Uh, how those clansmen went to battle across the fields here on these glens, I do not know. Because I only went up there a little way and uh, I was knackered. Uh, trudging through the, uh, the moss and the peat, up to your feet in wet water. Everywhere is wet. Every piece of inch of ground up there on those glens and hills is wet. Here we come to the stream. Running through a little bit now because we've had a bit of rain. So we'll stop here. We'll have a bit of a bathe. We'll have a look at this lovely stream for that. And here comes the rain. We'll go in to find cover. There's nowhere to find cover here. There's no cover in the castle either. Oh blimey O'Reilly. Oh, it looks like it's a quick flurry. It's absolutely pissing down. This is sky for you guys. One minute we had brilliant sunshine. Now it is absolutely hammering it down. We need to find cover because my camera and everything is getting bloody wet. Oh you can't plan anything on this island, you really can't. And this guy's trying to chase the seagulls again. If you're doing sky, you can't catch them. 
Is it wet sky? Is that it? I think that's it. Oh blimey, that was a flurry. Beautiful rock formation. Right. We'll get ourselves up to my castle. I'll invite you in and you can all join me. For a kettle's on mother, cup of tea. In my castle. I'll put the heating on. And the rain is still coming down. And uh, we'll have some we'll have a cook up as well in the pouring rain. Right, we've made it. We've made it in this guy. Here we are. It's magnificent. Castle. There's not a lot left of Castle Mark guys. Uh, there's a couple of the uh, outer walls and that's about it. But, uh, Right, so I've had to cut in with uh, your voice over here guys because the wind was just uh, horrific coming through that um, portcullis and the archway there on the castle but uh, it was glorious being up there. Yeah, this castle comes under various names, Castle Mile, uh, Castle Mole, uh, Dunakin, uh, Dunakin Castle, Dunhakon, which is a Hakon King, and Castle Dunakin, so it's, it's had several variants on its name, and it's uh, an ancient uh, seat of the uh, McKinnon clan. Uh, it was a fortress commander of the Strait of Kyle of Alkin, between Skye and the Scottish mainland. So it was a pretty important point. Uh, it's, it's reputed to date back to the 15th century, but there's there's evidence that it goes back a long, long, much further origin than that. And uh, according to uh, uh, the actual traditions here, um, Findenus, I suppose that's where uh, Findus comes from, the frozen food. Findenus, uh, the fourth Mackinian chief, brought the Donakin into the clan around the year 900 by marrying the Norse princess Saucy Mary. Uh, Saucy Mary is the one uh, that uh, done the toll across the uh, straits there, across to the mainland. And anybody she didn't like, they had to pay to come through. Royal family and all the uh, clan, they were fine. But uh, it's a marvellous viewpoint and uh, the walls on this castle are amazing. I think they're about bloody uh, six, seven foot thick, so you can understand how how good strong all they were and up on this pedestal as well on the peak of a little outcrop uh, very hard to attack uh, I think the weather took most of the walls down uh, if you look down the bottom of the ramparts down the side there's all the remnants of the castle used to have uh, three floors I believe uh, so it's quite impressive in its day it had four corner turrets with uh, spiral uh, castellets on each corner so lovely, but the wind, oh it was cold as well, it was absolutely bitter up here. How on earth those guys got through the winters, they must have had peat fires burning every minute of the day. Because of course they didn't have windows, didn't they? They didn't have glass or central heating, but they must have had a blazing fire. Look how high up we are. You can see all the outcrop down below. How the clansmen got through those fields of peat moss is beyond me really crazy. I had to go walking through there and I was up to my knees in wet peat moss all the way across the glen. You can see up the lock there, Loch Akin, which is lovely, up to the Scottish mountains there. That's going up towards Glencoe. The sky. <laughs> She's loving it. Uh, I've got to tie it up otherwise she'll be off and across the glen and uh, I won't see it again. No, she's quite all right, actually. She does come back um, if she does uh, get off the leash, which she has done a few times. Uh, I'm going to cook breakfast up here. We're going to have a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. Lovely. So a cup of tea and uh, breakfast in a, my own Scottish castle. There's not many Scottish castles you can do that. Most of them you have to pay for parking and entry. But there's not a lot left. We're going to put the uh, stove on the shelf there. Get some bacon rocking and rolling. And kettles on mother. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I hate doing voiceovers because uh, it's uh, very difficult. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm just getting my um, sandwich sorted out. We've got a primer stove going. I bought my stove up. We've got a nice cup of tea. Lovely juggling. A nice cup of Yorkshire tea. Now, that's a hand carved spoon that I carved uh, many years ago when I was a bushcrafter, wild camper. 
prepper and all that who used to carve my own spoons and mugs and all sorts. Lovely, the sun's shining now, but it's still, believe me, that wind is bitter up there. Just nice for a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. On top of a Scottish mountain in a Scottish glen, overlooking a Scottish loch, sitting in a lovely Scottish Viking castle. Loving it. Loving it. Yeah, Saucy Mary. She uh, had a toll running across a big chain, apparently. So the uh, legend has it. And uh, the princess lies um, on the sky, actually. And it's reputed that she's facing towards the... Um, Northern winds, so she can catch the winds from her hometown in Norway, her home country. So the winds of her home country blow across her grave. I've got a bacon on the ridge bunker there, some bacon in there. Smashing. Uh, yeah, there's lots of uh, castles. The King Hakon uh, uh, was the main king in this province in the Viking day. Uh, that's what the pub's named after. The lovely pub, me, Carl. And Helen went in, and also we had some guests as well, the second night. I think we went in there three nights. Can you guess how many pints of Guinness I've had so far? <laughs> uh, we'll have to have a competition at the end of the uh, series. How many did I drink on the Isle of Skye? Pints of Guinness. Right, me bacon's ready. Oh, look at Skye. Look at Skye, the cheeky little monkey. She's dying to get her nose in there. I just cannot eat nothing without... <laughs> without her having a bit of it she's a little tinker and I've got the sandwich there lovely bit of brown sauce bit of daddy sauce and you watch Sky now you watch her she nearly gets it you watch it now in a minute she, she's going to take a chance there she goes oh she just missed it she nearly had it then she nearly had a mouthful of my sandwich that would have made my day oh lovely job Lee. right I think Sam's back now we'll go back cheers guys Better view. How beautiful is this, guys? Having breakfast. Wow! Oh. Oh, I'm getting all excited. She must have been me like a sandwich. Don't ya? Will you rest up there? Oh yeah, you will. Lovely. You bring me my bacon sandwich. Oh, no, sir. I don't like to give them the food other than dog food because it makes them sick. Even fresh meat I give them sometimes and it makes them sick. Because they're not used to it. I sit down on my seat. In my castle. Kettles on, mother. God bless Odin. Thor, where are you? If you're listening, Odin. God bless you, mate. My 
camera's going to blow over in a minute. The wind is whacking through here. Might have another cup of tea before I go. Don't get me wrong, it's bloody freezing. Things we do for YouTube, it's bleeding freezing guys. There ain't no heating in this castle. The wind whacking through this window. Wow. Wow. Glass button boats coming back into port. Into Carla Kane. Still just one RV on the uh, slip way where my RV is, Christine. Life is good. There's people down there in that glass button boat with binoculars looking up at me at the castle. And I'm thinking, why is there a brummer you drinking a cup of tea in a Scottish castle? <laughs> Loving it. We love van life. Brummies on sky. Get off my land! <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. You can see the whole of Kylie Kitney from here, through the street, through the uh, village centre, the two pubs down the, uh, the village green, across to Sky Bridge. You can see all the north end of Sky as well from here which is where we'll be heading to. How beautiful is this? How absolutely beautiful is this? Wow. Bloody awesome. Right, let's get this kick pack down. We'll make a move because I think there's a wee squall on its way. Aye, aye, there's rain in the hills.